Our top story tonight, a Barnesville man faces charges of terroristic threats after he allegedly sent letters threatening to kill Jones County deputies and employees. Ashlyn Webb joins us live outside the Jones County Sheriff's Office with more on the investigation. Good evening, Lori. Travis Ball is now behind bars here at the Jones County Detention Center after the sheriff says Ball sent threatening letters to the sheriff's office and the Jones County Courthouse. Now, the sheriff says also in the letter, Ball claims that he put anthrax in the envelopes. Sheriff Butch Reese and lead investigator Kenny Allen say last Friday, the sheriff's office received a letter addressed from someone who lived in Jones County. Inside was a powdery substance, which the note said was anthrax. But that wasn't the only threat investigators say, Ball included. He was going to kill us all, hope we died. Just killing the employees here and blowing up the sheriff's office. Two more suspicious letters showed up this week, one to the Jones County Courthouse and a second one to the sheriff's office. Sheriff Reese believes Ball, who lives in Lamar County, is the person who mailed them. Reese says it wouldn't be the first time. Ball served two years in federal prison after he allegedly sent anthrax threats in 2016 to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, State Bar, and the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints. We call the other agencies that arrested him right off the bat. When you say his name, they say, oh boy. Reese says before receiving the letter, they had an outstanding warrant on Ball for harassing communications with a person in Jones County. On Tuesday, investigators searched Ball's home in Barnesville and found evidence that he may have sent more letters. They found some more letters that he'd sent, you know, to Washington. So uh, I, I think we'll be seeing more places that will receive some letters in the next few days from him. Because of that search, Jones County investigators also believe Ball may be tied to a letter that Megan's federal courthouse received on Tuesday. The FBI would not comment on whether the cases are connected, but did confirm the letter in Macon included a suspicious powder. Our preliminary tests on the powder um, indicated that it was not anything hazardous. And the FBI says they are doing additional tests on that substance just in case. But again, they do not believe that it's hazardous. But you guys might be asking, why is this reporter holding a box of baking soda? That's because Jones County investigators say they do not believe it's anthrax that was in the envelopes, but rather something like baking soda. They say that uh, baking soda actually resembles anthrax just in color, but in terms of texture, it actually doesn't. Reporting live in Jones County, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Amazing News. Thank you, Ashlyn. Sheriff Reese says investigators found evidence in Ball's home that letters may have also been sent to the White House in the U.S. District Attorney's Office in Atlanta. They have relayed that information to the FBI. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at anthrax. According to the CDC, anthrax is the infectious disease caused by a bacteria. It can be found naturally in soil and commonly affects domestic and wild animals around the world, but can be produced in a lab as a weapon. The CDC says people get infected with anthrax when spores get into the body and are activated. When they become active, the bacteria can multiply, spread out in the body, produce toxins, and cause severe illness. Inhalation of anthrax is considered the most deadly form. With aggressive treatment, about 55% of patients survive.